Hey people, in this video, we will review the Black 2nd Generation Apple Magic Trackpad and the Black 2nd Generation Apple Magic Mouse. These things are the other gifts I got for Winter Holidays, this time for my birthday. As for the mouse, I've got another one, because the white one has, well... Uh, well, it's partially broken. Let's do it with the Magic Trackpad first. The trackpad is a better tool than the Magic Mouse for those people who don't want to use a mouse or who don't like the Magic Mouse. The first thing about it is design. The trackpad is wedge-shaped, just like the MacBook Air of first three generations. In terms of size, it's bigger than the MacBook Air's built-in trackpad. It's in the same size as the 6-inch Apple Silicon MacBook Pro, except that the height is wider. I kind of like the black trackpad design better than the default silver one. On the back, we have the power switch, the lightning port, and the antenna strip on the right. That strip allows the Bluetooth model to work through the device's metal finish. On the bottom, we have the Apple logo, the usual design by Apple in California information, and rubber feet. Unlike the default silver version of the Magic Trackpad, the bottom is matte black. The top is also in the same color, while the metal frame is still silver. To connect the trackpad, you need to turn it on first. Now that the trackpad turned on, connects to the Mac using the USB-C to lightning cable included with the device. A pop-up should appear saying that your trackpad has been connected to the Mac. Now you can use the trackpad. Another thing is that you can be used even if you charge it. Unlike the magic mouse, which sounds controversial. To me, I think using this trackpad is convenient, and various interesting gestures make it more magical. Now let's do it with the magic mouse. Well, it's probably the same magic mouse I got earlier, but this time it's in black. Yes, my previous magic mouse review isn't that much good, so I'll review my new magic mouse in a better way. In terms of design, the magic mouse consists of glass on top, and aluminum on the bottom. On the top, it's just glass with the Apple logo. And on the bottom, there's also an Apple logo, a power button, the charging port, and as usual, the design by Apple in California thing. The black Magic Mouse's design is the same as the default silver one, but this time the top glass is black. Personally, I like the black color of the mouse better because it reminds me more of older Apple devices I had in the past. Hmm, memories. The mouse can be connected to the Mac the same way as I said earlier about the Magic Trick Pad. But unfortunately, the mouse can't be used when you charge it. Hopefully, the next generation of Magic Mouse will have a better design that allows use when you charge it, and that has better ergonomics. Still, it's a pretty nice device. The important thing about the Magic Mouse is the motor touch sensor in it, that allows you to use the middle button functions using gestures. Now it's time for the comparison. The Magic Mouse is almost like a mouse mixed with a touchpad, but not completely, because the motor touch sensor is designed for the middle button functions in a touchpad way. The ergonomics and the charging board, as you see right here, are controversial compared to the Magic Touchpad, a full touchpad compatible with both laptops and desktop max. It's your choice between these devices, although for those who want better ergonomics, I'd recommend the trackpad. And that's it for the video. Make sure you like and subscribe if you don't want to miss new videos. And don't forget to comment down below. Signing off, I'll see you in the next video.